and let them deliver it into the hand of the doers of the work that have the oversight of the house of the Lord and let them give it to the doers of the work which is in the house of the Lord to repair the breaches of the house I want to I want to preach about repairing of the breaches Re repairing 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 of the breaches um and at this time about a text ladies and gentlemen we introduce uh, to a king of Judah by the name of Josiah and history says that he is uh, in his 18th year of his reign as, as a king and the story goes that he took over the office at eight years old and, and, and that is an indication that something new is getting ready to happen. A in the biblical term is the number of new beginnings. Uh, imagine an eight-year-old boy becomes the king of Judah. He says 18 years as the king of Judah. And by the time you, you, you get to 2 Kings chapter 22, he is now in his 26th year. He's, he's 26 years old. And he is the last of the godly kings of Judah. That's right. Now notice, I didn't say he was the last king. I got some help here. But he is the last godly king. There were four kings after him, but the rest that he did what was right in the eyesight of the Lord. Oh, that's a word. That's a word for believers today. And, and this is an interesting time in the history of God's people because uh, they, they, they are no longer a unity king. Matter of fact, they, they are now the divided kingdom. And their division had its origin in it. And, and administration uh, of Solomon who was, who blatantly disobeyed. And violated the law that God had laid out for kings over in Deuteronomy 17. Stay with me, I'll be God, God specifically warned kings not to multiply in three areas. He says, whatever you do, don't, don't multiply in the area of horses. Don't multiply in the area of silver. And then, 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 then it says, don't multiply in the area of wives. Y'all getting quiet. And, and, and this is all. Well, specifically in Deuteronomy 17, matter of fact, 
when you get home and you jot that down, it's between uh, verse 14 and 20. And, 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 and those kings were, were, were not to multiply in these areas. Well, then let's, let's, let's try to understand why. Don't multiply in horses. Because horses represents military might. Uh, if, if they increase in horses, then they will be less dependent on God. Matter of fact, if they multiply in horses, they need God's protection. He says, don't multiply in silver. Because silver represents money. It, it, it represents wealth. And th therefore, if you increase in silver, money or wealth, they, they will potentially be guilty of what the New Testament called filthy lucre. Therefore, uh, what, what, whatever you do, don't put your trust in material things. Right, this is a third point. Don't, don't, don't put your no, don't, don't put your trust in your house. Don't, don't, don't put your trust in your little automobile. Look at you. I know you got some fine clothes. Don't, don't put your trust in. Lord have mercy. In, in, in your clothes. Don't, 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 don't put your trust in that St. John Neal. Uh, that James Davis suit. Uh, don't, 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 don't put your trust in. And y'all remember Solomon uh, had, had, had multiple wives and concubines. Yeah. Yeah. And this, this is really a dull crowd. And, and see the problem with increasing yeah. wives in the Old Testament. Uh, the, the, the wives introduced idol worship. And, and the worship of idol gods for God's people. So, so Solomon it, it engaged with these different wives because they were from Foreign countries. Yes, right. That's right. Lord have mercy. And, and, and they brought some stuff with them that didn't go along with what Sodom believed in. Lord have mercy. That's why you better be careful who you hook up with. It's getting dirty in there. Everybody don't serve the God you serve. Yeah. Don't serve the God you serve. Can I hear that with someone? Everybody go to church. Don't always know God. Yeah. I want to preach it by yourself. See, see, I don't contaminated God's people. And it, and, it, and it began on the song. Yeah, yeah. When he chose to defect from the allegiance of God and began to introduce idolatry well, to God's people. Well, right. Now I want to hear you with something. A lot of you babies go to church. But but you ain't as strong as you think you are. Say it now. Let me talk about my church. And then you, you, you can't handle influence from other folk that don't know God.
Y'all think just cause you got some church membership that you can handle Satan when he comes. All right, I'm going to hit by myself. That's all right, I'll go for it. See, see, see the, 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 the subsequent consequence well. would pronounce judgment. Well, well. And the kingdom that once was united is now divided. All right. I can tell y'all in the way. All right. So, so when the king did not obey God, there was a consequence in the kingdom. And, 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 and the book of 2 Kings is a historical chronicle of God's interaction with his people. Through the mediation of kings. Uh, th this is important because the, the, the plight of the people were, were directly tied to the fortunes or the misfortune of the king. Stay with me, I'm building my brain. The, 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 the plight of the people what was directly tied to the fortune well, or misfortune of the king. So goes the king. Based on 
how the king had misconducted himself. Well, well. Uh, let, let me help you with something. Only child can make kings. I wish I had some help in here. And a king, a godly king, is fit for God.
he, 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 he said, uh, jo Josiah says his, 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 his scribe, um, a.k.a. A his secretary, by, by the name of Chopin. And, and Chopin had to go down to the church to tell the high priest whose name was Hilkiah. Y'all can read that between verse 1 and 8. That's right. Because I knew y'all can read the Old Testament and this, 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 this ain't the part of the son. Uh, he, he instructs him. He says, let me tell you what I want you to do. Where? Go, go, go get all the money uh -huh. and assemble the builders, the carpenters, yeah. and masons, and begin to repair the breaches. Yes, yes, yes. I'm almost through. Yes, come on, Pastor. Because the breaches have already been destroyed. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he says, there are some leaks at the church. Oh, come on, Pastor. 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 Come on, in the church building. Y'all y'all know that old old song. There's the I'm not going with y'all. the 
of what's been delivered and the purpose 